Today, I'm finally gonna tell you why these headphones I got two years ago are awesome. Hey friends, welcome back. So these are the Sony WH-1000XM3 noise canceling headphones. I got them two years ago and I realized that even though I wear them every single day, I never reviewed them for y'all on the channel. So that is what we're gonna do today. And we're also gonna talk about noise canceling in general and how it's a great way for you to block out everything else in your environment and just focus on the music. So first off, what exactly does noise canceling mean? Well, according to soundproofcentral.com, quote, noise canceling headphones reduce unwanted ambient sounds by using active noise control as part of the listening experience. This design is different from passive models, which use a process of soundproofing to create a similar result. So basically, instead of just using padding around the ear cups to block outside sound, noise canceling uses a built-in microphone to actually listen to the sound, then it produces the opposite sound wave to cancel it out. And that is really cool. So essentially, by wearing these types of headphones, you can greatly reduce a lot of the different noise pollution that you hear on a daily basis, such as dogs barking, traffic noise, airplanes, sirens, loud coffee shops, construction work right around the corner, lawn mowers, noisy neighbors, noisy roommates, etc., etc. Even the little things you don't think about, like the hum of your refrigerator in the kitchen. A good pair of headphones, like the Sony XM3s, will cancel all that stuff out. Or, as I said, greatly reduce it. Now, speaking of the Sonys, let's go ahead and check them out. As you can see, they come in a nice box. They have 30 hours of battery life. They use Bluetooth to connect to all your devices. They can be used wired or wireless. And of course, they have the best noise canceling out of all the headphones I've ever owned. If we look on the back, you'll also see that the right ear cup has touch functionality. So you can either play the music, pause the music, raise the volume, lower it, or skip to the next track. Also, inside the box, it comes with all the cables and adapters you'll need to get started. But we'll talk more about those in a second. Now, when you order these headphones, you'll also get this very nice carrying case, which will help you to protect them. So that's really cool. And then on the inside, of course, are the headphones themselves. So if we go ahead and take them out, you can see that they have a very soft headband, which is also adjustable. They have bronze accents on the sides, right and left indicators above the ear cups, and speaking of that, the ear cups themselves are also very soft and comfortable. Now on the very bottom, it also has the USB-C connection, the headphone jack, the power button, and the noise canceling button. Now, like I mentioned, it also comes with an airplane adapter, a short cable if you want to use it wired, and a short USB-C cable for charging. So that's basically everything that's included inside the box, and as you can see, it comes with pretty much everything you need to get started. Now, I will say that one of the downsides of these headphones is that they're not as durable as my Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs. Although these headphones do not have noise canceling, their sound quality is really good and their build quality is excellent. I've taken these things on road trips, I've had them around my neck for long periods of time, and I've also thrown them into my backpack by themselves just loose. And with the Sonys, you can't really do that because you might break them. So when you are traveling with the XM3s, you gotta just keep them in the case. Also, when you're handling the Sonys, I try to grab them by their headband and not their ear cups, just to avoid any future problems. So overall, the Audio-Technicas have better build quality, but the Sonys have better sound. So it's kind of a mixed bag, but overall, if you are really careful with them, then this won't really be an issue. Now, I also really like how you can use these headphones either wireless via Bluetooth or wired with the included cable. So if you want to play your records late at night, but you don't want to wake up your neighbors or roommates, then these headphones are perfect. 
So if you want to do that, all you have to do is use a quarter inch audio adapter and a quarter inch headphone extension cable like this one from Daddario, plug everything into your receiver and you're going to be good to go. So I really like the versatility of these headphones. I've used them with my phone, my computer, and my receiver, and across the board, everything worked out great. Now, one question you might have is, how did the XM3s compare to the newer XM4s? Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm not really sure because I haven't gotten my hands on that model yet, but based on the reviews I've read online about them, people kind of go back and forth. Some prefer the new model, but some prefer the old model. But regardless, both seem to have good noise canceling, great battery life, and are comfortable to wear for long periods of time. So I'd say that either one is going to work for you, but my personal experience has been with the XM3s, and I really love them. Now, I've owned lots of different headphones over the years, such as the Samson HP30s, the Meze 99 Classics, I borrowed the Bose QC35 Series 1, which are also noise canceling, and finally, I owned the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs, which are great studio monitors, but none of them compared to the sound quality, noise canceling, and enjoyability of the Sony XM3s. I've watched movies with them, listened to music with them, on vinyl and digital, I've played games on them, and even let my family and friends test them out for themselves, and everyone pretty much agrees the sound is crunchy, clear, and 10 out of 10. So overall, noise canceling headphones like the Sony's are really helpful for cutting out all that extra noise pollution in our environment. And that allows you to focus more on studying, reading a book, writing, enjoying good music, gaming, or really just anything that involves concentration. So like I said, I love these headphones and I wear them every single day. So if you want to check them out for yourself, I'll put their link in the video description down below. Now before we go, today's song of the day is 21st Century Schizoid Man by King Crimson. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day as well, post in the comments down below and you might see it in a future video. Now what do you think about noise cancelling headphones? Do you own any? And if you do, which ones do you have? Let me know down in the comments below and if you love music and record collecting in general, feel free to subscribe and hit that little bell notification icon down there so you won't miss out on any of the new videos. And most importantly of all friends, have a fantastic day, stay safe, and keep spinning that vinyl.